Hi guys, just a quick video to let you know that I've made a modification on the Homebrew 4 to 1 current ballon for my off-center fed dipole, which is part of the portable SHTF or backpacking HF ham radio station that we're working on. As you can see, I've changed the way that you connect the wires to the binding post. If you'll recall before, I had some uh, terminal lugs that were soldered to the end of the uh, 22 gauge wire. And I didn't really like that. That posed a problem. I could see that there was a 90 degree angle from where that uh, connector came out. The wire turned and I felt like there was gonna be stress on that wire. So what I've done is I did a little shopping on eBay. I found some very small copper coils and I believe these coils are used in the suspension of uh, model race cars and they're very short they're about an inch a little over an inch long and um, maybe three-eighths inches around and uh, as you can also see I bought some very tiny little uh, alligator clips and I'll be soldering those clips onto the ends of the wire. I'll snip those uh, uh, terminal connectors off of the wire and of course the wire is stored on the uh, fishing reel right now but I will take that off and solder uh, those wires onto this very nicely and uh, what I've done is I had to take a couple of pair of pliers, one needle nose and one a large pair of pliers, and I had to bend this um, uh, copper uh, spring in a couple of different ways to uh, first of all have a space to uh, uh, attach the uh, alligator's clips to, and that's pretty easy. I just had to try to maintain an angle as if a uh, inverted dipole would be. So what these coils now are are strain release. These will move freely in the breeze or if you accidentally uh, hit the wire or whatever uh, with your head or something it'll uh, it'll give and it's not likely to uh, break as it was before. And I uh, also had to uh, take and uh, close the uh, diameter of the coil somewhat and I use that with the needle nose pliers. If you're familiar with the um, needle nose, they have a little cutting uh, section. And on the back side of that cutting section is a little rounded hole. And that was perfect to use that rounded hole to form the wire and to con continue to uh, crimp it down in a round configuration. It finally uh, was able to uh, crimp it down so small it remained uh, round and it was so small that I, it would slip over the uh, binding post and I was able to uh, put the uh, caps back on and tighten them down. So now all I've got to do is unroll the uh, antenna from the fishing reel and clip those on to these uh, springs and hoist this uh, ballon up and it's ready to go. So uh, well, anyway, that's all I've got. It's a very short video and I won't make it any longer. But thanks for stopping by the uh, Survivalist 2008 channel. And as always, take care.